Hello there. This is Cheryl Lentz, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, winging it on Wednesday with a brand new monkey cut kit. So I'm um, trying to decide which one I should do. I decided on um, Symbols of Fortune. So that suite you can see is on page um, 22, 23, and 24 of the um, new mini catalog. So hi, Cheryl. I'm really excited about this one because I have not um, played with it very much. So, I mean, I haven't played with the paper. I haven't played with the stamp set at all. So I'm kind of excited to bring this to you. Hi, Susan. Hello, hello. So here we go. Let's get started with no further ado because it took me a little bit to get everything um, organized and get everything ready. So I have I made up four kits this morning. One is mine. I get my very own monkey cut kit. I'm so excited. You know, in the very beginning, I didn't get them. So um, until we decided that we should do this winging on Wednesday, otherwise we had them and we would sell them, but I didn't get one. So um, that was a new rule that I would get the first monkey cut kit. So I'm pretty excited about that. Let me turn the camera around. I'll show you what the kit includes and let's start playing. Here we go. Thank you for joining me late too, y'all. I appreciate that. Here we go. Okay, here we're gonna go for a little ride. Hi, Cindy. Hello, hello. Yay, I'm glad y'all are joining me because it's a little bit later, so I appreciate that. So um, this is the stamp set, uh, Game of Fortune. Crane of Fortune, Game of Fortune. Oh my goodness, I'm on a talk show host. Uh, Crane of Fortune with the Good Fortune dies. So this is the bundle um, that you can get that is on, um, on those pages in the uh, catalog. And then this is what it includes. A half a pack of the DSP cut and ready to go. Um, four of the six by six mother of pearl paper. Half a package of the polished dots. One yard each of four coordinating ribbons, three each of six coordinating cardstock cut and ready to go, six sheets of white cardstock cut and ready to go, and 10 envelopes for 50. And it is um, on the website, so I put it on right before I came on. So let's open it up and we'll show you what comes in your little fun box here. So here we go. Here it is. Ta-da! This is what it'll look like when you open it up. So here we go. Ta-da! Okay, these polished dots are so much fun, and they come in two colors. They're clear and kind of a, a light calypso. So very clear. Here's the ribbons. So we have this beautiful satin. Um, this is gray granite ribbon, and then the um, soft succulent, these two, and the evening evergreen. So there's your ribbon. Here's what the cardstock will look like, all cut and ready to go. Let's move this out of the way here. And then I have the bases, and you get all these little scraps to use. And the white cut up and ready to go, lovingly referred to as the guts. You've heard that story. And then here's all your bases and envelopes. And ta-da, ta-da. And then the, um, I love this mother of pearl um, paper. So you get four of six by six sheets of that. So it includes all this fun stuff, all ready to go and play with. So let's start playing. Drum roll, please, here we go. So I generally start out with um, the DSP. So I'm gonna set everything else to the side and start playing with the DSP. Where should I go, this side? Um, this paper is so beautiful. It's a specialty paper, so it has some gold um, gilding on it. And um, ta-da, ta-da, let's go through it here. I went through it when I did my open house. So, so it's just, it's so beautiful. So here's all the gold. And then the back side. Back side of this one is this beautiful Calypso coral pattern. Here we go. Ta-da. This side. I love this. I think that's so cool. Okay, this one. And then this. Oops, wait a minute. I missed it. This side here. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, it's just, oh my goodness. So much fun. And then this side. Whoopsie daisy. 
I did two of them. It was a twofer, this side and this side. There we go. So here's all your beautiful patterns. Um, both sides, this is in here, this Calypso Coral one. So look at all the beautiful colors you have to play with. All the interesting patterns. Really, really fun. Um, now I get to pick something out. Let's see here for my very first one. I did do a card, and I'll run over and grab it. I did do a card using this um, for class, so I will pull that out. That's the first card I have made playing with this paper. So um, I just love this, too. I like both sides. I like both sides. This is beautiful. So if you were going to use this, a lot of times I will pick, you know, pick up one of the pages of the DSP and then sort of go from there and let the paper do the talking be the focus of our um, first one here and then use um, using a uh, you know a verse or something like that from it now I love that this flower then is matching up with this flower so we can look at that a little bit but I think I think that we will do I am gravitating towards this one here not as showy as all the others, but I love the colors. I love the softness of the, the background. And it looks almost um, almost like a linen kind of, uh, there's little lines on the background, has a little pattern to it. So let's see here. And then um, if we we're gonna pick to back it. I generally pick to, to layer it up. So we'll pick that right away. I usually pick the darker. That's just how I usually do because I feel like it's framing it in. So I would go with the Evening Evergreen here so that it just sort of frames, frames it in like that. Okay, I have this one for the inside piece. But I might do this is take one of these strips here and imp. oh I think I like it this way I was thinking about putting a strip in but I think I might take the smaller strip and put it instead of the long way um, use one of these strips and put it this way so I'm keeping most of my the green that's already showing there ta-da put this back so yes I had a lot of I was like I don't know there's the sports one I have a number of them that I want to do but this one I thought I love that specialty paper and um, I just thought it was kind of fun so for the base we're going to do the Calypso Coral of course watch it pop out here ta-da looks so pretty that is really really lovely paper there we go and then if we did a a verse here now we could do I'm just looking at this um i think i think on a smaller one i was look, thinking about this die cut but i think this is kind of small in relation to the flowers so i think we're going to go this way and on another date, um, when I play with it, uh, we'll do that on another piece. But I think if we have the verse here, I'm just going to get out some of this. This will be the white for the inside layer. Ta-da. There. Come on. My fingers don't want to work today. And here is for the verse. So we might have to cut that down after we do the verse on it, but at least that um, gives me a start here. And then I love in the inside, when you put a little bit of the color on the inside, we could stamp the flower or we could just put a strip of this in here. Let's see, here's a piece of it where it has the green on it too. There. 
Ta-da. Here, let's do this one. This one has even more. There. I think we'll go up the other way, though. Turn it around. There. Ta-da. 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 Okay. There we go. So, um, generally, I go with the darkest color for the verse, too. So I'm going to pull out the Evening Evergreen for that. And let's see here. Much luck and good fortune. Wishing a lifetime of happiness. We could make it a little, I, I don't know, a little um, sending a thousand well wishes on your special day. I think I'm going to go with that. But then we're going to do a different, I'm going to cut a, a different um, thing. I don't know, much luck and good fortune. If you're getting a new job or doing something like that, moving, but not for, um, I wouldn't call luck in marriage, it's work. <laughs> much much work and good luck. I think uh, we're gonna say sending a thousand, we're gonna do this, the thousand good wishes. So we just have to figure out what punch we're gonna use to punch that out. So if this is here, kind of in the center, and then we're going to use um, this one, wishing a lifetime of happiness and a world full of love, love. Let's see here. When it sticks in here, I sometimes have to use my little pickup tool to, and I think that that will still go on, fit on there. Yes, it will. Just, okay, like that. And then we could use, I don't know, let's see. Let's get that figured out first. I'm just going to put this on my block. And, yeah, and I think that we'll use a punch here. I think I'm looking at it upside down. Come on. There we go. Well, it really doesn't matter. I guess because I'm going to punch it out. I'm going to punch it out so I don't have to worry about. There we go. I think that's good. All right, so let's see here. I think I'm out of my, oh no, here's one. My H block. I love the H blocks. I was working this morning on some more samples with the um, the grassy grove. Oh my goodness. I had to like break away and stop because otherwise I would still be working with it. I really had fun with that. All right, I'm going to pull out one of these white pieces here because that's what we're going to stamp the the words on and then possibly punch it out. We'll see what shape we like. So here's my evening evergreen and here are my here we go. Just gonna stamp that there. I might as well stamp the inside verse right away as long as I have it out and open. So what I do is I line it up. I put this in place. I don't glue it down yet because I don't trust myself not to, if I would stamp it crooked, then I would be out of luck, right? So I leave it like that <laughs> and hope that I get it straight here. Hope that I get it straight. Let's see here. Is it straight? I gotta hold it up. I can't tell. It's down just a little bit. Don't like that. So let's go here again. Special double-sided paper. Sometimes when I'm kind of, I think I'm gonna put it this way. When I'm hanging over it, I can't, I'm not looking at it straight. Okay. So. There we go. Somebody said, every time you do it, it works out. I said, no, not always. Not every time. Okay. I like that. I'm happy with that. Okay. Now, let's decide on the punch here. So, I would say, let's see here. This looks too big. want one that's sort of rounded. This is um, the label, label me lovely. Let's just see how it looks. Do a little sample. See, to me, that's way too big. I don't want that much um, not showing on my, on my board here. So, 
so let's try this. Let's see here. And I think it's too, it's not, it's too big for the oval. Here's the everyday label. Let's try that one. That's doable. And we could put some, a little bit of flowers on it. So I'm going to go like this. And I'm just kind of, I kind of look, I want it about even side to side and then uh, away from there. So I'm just sort of kind of eyeballing it. Okay, let's use that. Then we're going to, we need to make, give it a little more color, I think. Um, I'm not going to just plop down a white verse on here. And I wanted to use a punch instead of getting out dyes. So let's see here. We could just put this right in the center. I usually go off to one side. We could put it in the center. Now we could do with some Calypso Coral. I don't know, we could do some flowers on either end or we can put our jewels on here and put maybe some calypso around there or the green. We're going to do the evergreen. So in colors, uh, I'm trying to get out my, let's see if I can find my, uh, here. Here's my evening evergreen dauber, my little dauber. I want it to stand out a little bit more, but not with a whole lot of color, just a little. So if I just kind of flick the edge, just to give it a little bit of a, you know, when you use dyes, then you, you can easily put layers on. But if you're not going to use a dye, if you're going to use a punch, you want it to look like it has a little bit of a layer. Um, just adding a bit of uh, ink with your dauber can give that kind of look to it and makes it stand out a bit. There. So just a little tiny bit. I'm going to go a little bit more. A little bit more. There. Okay, it softens the edge, and it sort of reminds me of how the white looks on here around our flowers as far as just really soft edging. Okay, this is going to go here. This is going to go here. Ta-da. Just like that. Very simple card. Just putting pieces together. Getting a punch that matches your um, your verse. There we go. And then on the ends here, we'll put our... And I don't think I want to cover up any more of it as far as having... Um, I'm looking at this. I'm looking at the pattern. I don't think I want to cover up any more of the flowers. I could do down this way. I mean, I'm just kind of playing to the pattern, right? So this sort of fills up, and this one was sort of empty, and I want to leave the leaves showing. So I could do that. You like it off to the side? I'm going to stand up and see if I can see anybody's so we could do it this way, off to the side, so it sort of balances with all that's on there. Or we can do it this way, ta-da, and put it in the center. Oops, I can hold on to the pieces here. So let's put that there, I'll put this here. Then you have the flowers kind of surrounding it. Let's see here. I'm going to stand up and see. So you like it off to the side or in the center? Let's see what. Off to the side, to the side. Yeah, I like it on the side too. I agree. Okay, Susan, let's do the side. Let's do off to the side. Because it's just playing on this beautiful paper. So you're just kind of letting the paper do the, I always say, let the paper do the talking. Sometimes that's all you need to do is just 
let the paper show the paper because it's so pretty there we go so if we put this here down to the bottom we'll put this here off to the side and then we can still do some of our jewels here we could do jewels here we could do a bow i'm thinking the jewels um would look nice just maybe one on each very simple and then you could do a couple more here okay i'm going to close this up let's start gluing it together that's that's really the the true uh true thing i have a new glue today so it'll come out for me I, what a shame not to use this side but i think the flowers are so beautiful i can't resist so i'm just going to do that there we go and center that on three i love the green glue so it lets me move things around and i'm going to go all the way across on this and then i'll just cut off that extra so i won't send the glue all the way to the back side there to that other end to the right hand side there we go usually i line this up so i know i'm even but i kind of got off i think it's okay there we go okay here's my paper snips there ta-da now of course we will put this up on dimensionals which are right here here we go so super fast but cute card playing off the calypso coral colors with the evening evergreen that's so dark and rich i love that color there we go ta-da okay we're gonna set it right to the side like this i'm just kind of lining up here where the ends are that's going to be glued right onto here look how it pops when you put that it just um brings out all the wonderful rich color when you pair it up there we go with that calypso coral because i think the background is so soft looking there we go ta-da all right now let's open these babies up figure out how i put it in here come on here we go here's my little my little gems here they're so pretty okay so i'm gonna put these bigger ones with the calypso coral color very light I'm gonna put them on either side here there we go i'm just gonna kind of hover this over and see if we need some more on here i don't think so i don't think i'm gonna do any other ones put that back on there i think it looks good just like that ta-da very simple very simple card let me grab this I'm going to glue this on i'm using the background um, so that it's darker so i'm not working white on white otherwise you want to make sure that you get it on here all the way so the white isn't showing there we go over just a little okay fingers glue on the fingers okay Do this okay there that's pretty now you could dress it up if I would have moved that up just a little bit you could have a little tab of ribbon under it um, I could probably still add that there we go that looks pretty so like you could do like a, maybe a little tab of ribbon down here when I'm looking at three spots where it really highlights this evening evergreen 
color. I'm just going to take a snip it off and see if we like that. There. So if I fold this over, when I get ready to put it under, if I'm going to do it, I'll put a little glue dot between the ribbon just to hold it together and then I kind of sneak it under there. So it would be like, oh, I don't know if I like that. If it was up a little bit further, you could go like this even. Let's see here. But I think I have it too far down. I don't know, maybe that's okay. Have it like that. What do you think? I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna add that. Just a little touch of ribbon. So I have three points. Usually I like to keep it sort of balanced, I think, with the, that's what I'm gonna do. I am gonna do that. So I'm gonna take my glue dot, put it between my two ribbons, so I get them kinda facing like I want. And then I'm going to cut a little, first I'm gonna stick it to my finger. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut a little bit on here. Cut an angle here and an angle this way. There we go. Cut this one again. There, okay. All gone. <laughs> one more glue dot. I'm gonna put it on the back. And then I'm just gonna sneak this underneath here and the corner. There. Spread it out a little bit there. Ta-da! Dresses it up just a little bit more, just a tiny little bit, a little something different. There we go. I'm gonna grab that other card really quick. I'll be right back here, two seconds. Using a different stamp set, but this is um, the paper that I used. You can see um, you could do the same thing because you have all these same colors in here, um, different flower. You could even cut out one of these flowers and put it on, pop it up, um, and then uh, add some of the greenery around it in place of what I was using here. I think this was, um, but anyhow, I just wanted to show you how well all the colors go together. And this one, so this ribbon on this particular one is the pale papaya ribbon. And I colored it with the light Calypso Coral blender pen. And so I got the darker color because this is originally what that ribbon looked like. Like a pale version of it, right? So that's the pale papaya. Those light colors, you can add ribbon to it. But ta-da! So there we go. I'm going to move this one out. Here is our first card with our Symbols of Fortune Monkey Cut Kit. There's the inside, outside. I'll work on some more, and then I will show you on Friday um, more of the cards from the kit. Hi, Lynn. I am going to switch this around. Hi, uh, let's see here. Let me turn the camera around. Here we go. Ta-da, ta-da. All righty. All set, all done. Thank you for joining me late today. I will be on Friday at two o'clock. We will have um, more of the, um, I always forget the name of this one, the Grassy Grove um, cards. I have some pretty cards to show you. And then some more using the Symbols of Fortune Monkey Cut Kit. So if you like that, if you would like one, um, I have some made up already. You can go to stampingjourney.com and place your order. So thank you so much. Y'all have a good night. I'll see you on Friday. Bye-bye.